Hello everybody, in today's tutorial, we're going to connect Sack AI to Minichat. Let's get into it. All right, so once you're in Sack AI, I mean, we are, I'm going to build something super basic because the point of this tutorial is how to connect it to Minichat, which is a really powerful chat marketing tool. So you can easily, very easily integrate your uh, AI assistant be built, built with Stack AI to Instagram, Messenger, SMS, email, WhatsApp, Telegram, and it's super easy. It's easier than Toilo. Trust me. You'll see in a second. Okay, so let's get to Stack AI part. And for the prompt, I just want to give it something really uh, simple, something along these lines. So you are a helpful AI assistant, you work for authority appraisals, you answer users' queries and also help them to get a code. In order to do so, you need to ask for a first name, property type, and the purpose of the appraisal. Then tell them a team member will reach out to proceed with their appraisal. And then we have the user message. Uh, one other little thing I'd like to have, I want to give it a little bit of static knowledge base. I'm going to go knowledge bases and I'm going to go to URL and I'm going to give it um, the website of this client of mine. Go to LLM. All right. And then you want to scrape sub pages, scrape with API file, your database. really cool feature which is conversational form so we can also connect it to Airtable but for this video we're just going to capture the information in a table built in Stack AI. So it's going to be we're asking for I just gave it a little bit of examples and next thing we want to do is we want to publish this let's just say hi to see even if it works okay cool and the next thing we want to do is we want to go to many chat and if you're not familiar with many chat it's better you do become familiar, super familiar with Minichat because this tool is just awesome. So uh, I assume you have a decent understanding of Minichat, so I'm not going to walk you through. Uh, for the first one, you we want to send the input and capture the output, right? In this case, we are going to just do it with Facebook Messenger. So first thing we, we need is we want a user input and the uh, User input is a text type, and we want to save the response to, let's say, stack. Uh, this is custom field, user custom fields, cuff. And for the question, we just want to leave it empty. As a next step, I want an action, and then I want an external request. And then I'm going to back to Stack AI. I'm going to export a previously known deploy, but now it's export. And then I'm going to go API endpoint, JavaScript, show token. I'm just going to grab the URL, go back to Minichat, paste the URL for headers, add a header. I have a really good friend, her name is Heather. <laughs> Different spell though. Authorization, authorization. Uh, and then we have the value for authorization. And the request header, content type, application, JSON. Okay, that's our header for body we would want to have something really simple. So what we have is, uh, so R is going to be in zero. Oops, double code. So in zero from Stack AI, right, equal to, then you just add a field. What, which field did just, we just created, right? So the 
input, which in, in this case is a stack and make sure to put it in double quotes and close it and that's it. Okay, so we have the header done for the body. We have the body done and let's give, let's test the request for now to see if it works. And then we go to response mapping. Yep, so there you go. This is our output and this is our input. And this is my last test I did. So, and for response mapping, as you can see, it is this is in this format and ManyChat makes it really easy with JSON path. So all we're going to do is dollar sign, let me go back to out here, dollar sign dot, output from stack AI, that's it. And for here, I already, I already have a custom field built. If you don't have any, just a text custom field and that's it. Save it as the next step. We want another messenger in this and the response is going to be response. Then did we just want to loop it back, right? So then Would let's click it. on preview and see if it works. We go to Facebook and let's say, hello. There you go. Hello, how can I assist you today? And there you go, it works. And if you don't like the format, like if the way it asks all the questions at once, you can just obviously go and tweak the prompt. So that's it. This is how you connect Stack AI to ManyChat. And once you're in ManyChat, you are in Instagram and many other places very easily. Thanks for watching this. Let me know if you found value, like, subscribe so i get motivated to make more of these videos cheers